Hi there, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. As a data analyst, whenever you are developing a Power BI report, you may face several challenges. As a data analyst, also you are the person who posted different questions, concerns, and maybe ideas on Power BI community. And thank you all of you for building such a great community where we can share our question, concerns, ideas, and we can help each other. Over here at BI Consulting Pro, we always take your questions very seriously. We always try to help you out. And this is also one of those videos where we take it as a challenge and we try to help you out in order to enable or empower you in your day-to-day -day work. So one of the questions has been posted, what if there are multiple data sets and you want to create one single set of reports that your users can use it without navigating to different workspaces or the reports. So in this video, I'm gonna let you know that how you can handle this kind of challenges. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Hey there, my name is Ajay Kumar and you are watching me at BA Consulting Pro. If you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon and also do share this video with your friends and colleagues if you really enjoy our content. Now, as you can see on my screen, the question is over here. Over here, somebody is saying that I have two Power BI reports, each of its own data model, DAX measures and visualization. Basically, they have their own semantic model. So the guy says that, I would like to combine them into a single Power BI file, which ensure that both reports retain their separate data model without merging data sets. The DAX measures and visualization remains independent and also the reports exist as separate tabs pages within the same file. So how you can tackle this kind of challenge? Well, it's pretty simple. It's not as challenging as it seems. Lately, I have created one video on Power BI apps. If you don't know what is it, please do check the link in the description section and do share your feedback if I need to update it. However, we always update our contents so that you always stay updated. So in this case also, what we have to do, we have to work with the Power BI app. Please do not confuse with Power Automate or Power Apps because Power BI app is completely different. Power BI app lets you combine multiple reports in a way that you can share directly this app with the end users and they can consume data out of it. Not only that, with the help of Power BI app, what you can also do, you can add your PPTs, your links, you can make different sections, as well as you can create different audiences. And according to that, you can also maintain permissions. In this video, I'm gonna help you that how this person who posted over there on the Power BI community that he can still do it with maintaining two different semantic models in the same file. So what you have to do, you have to first of all, publish the report into a Power BI workspace. Workspace can be Power BI Pro or Power BI Premium, but it cannot be Power BI Free because with the free license, you cannot share the content and the user must have a Power BI Pro license. Once he has that, he's gonna need certain permissions over here and basically contributor, member, or the admin permission over here. Once you have all of these, the next step would be, you have to come here and create app. If you have already created the app from the same workspace, then in that case, you have to update the app. But in this scenario, I'm assuming that app has not been. But in this scenario, I'm assuming the app has not been created yet. So what we are going to do, we are going to create the app. For that, you have to click on this button over here, create app. You have to give it a name. I need to go back. Let me do it again. So over here, you have to give it a name. I'm going to call it simple Power BI app. Power BI app, you can give it any name. It isn't necessary, but please give it a meaningful name. For example, sales reports or something like that. Over here, please do add description. Here I'm gonna type it. This is the simple app to tackle multiple reports in one file with multiple semantic models. Over here, you can also upload the logo. 
So if you're going to click on this, you can browse some of the images that you have and you can do that. Then next to that, you can also choose the theme or here I'm going to do with this theme and then the contact information. Contact information is very important because in any case, somebody is using this app or there they encountered an issue. So they need a contact person for that. I would highly recommend go with the specific individual groups, create one group that can have one member or multiple members. And whenever somebody creates them, it goes over there. You can also name it sport at the date biconsultingpro.com or similar to that. Right now, I'm just going to write connect at biconsultingpro.com. Guys, if you have any challenge or you are facing any issue, you need information on those kinds of issues or maybe some updates or you would like to contact us for consulting work or training then please reach out to us at connect.biconsultingpro.com and, and we are going to help you out. Now, since I pasted it over here, there are some advanced settings as well where you can do this expand navigation pane by default or collapse navigation pane by default. I say collapse it rather than expanding because that's going to give you more space. Also, you can do this setting over here, which is access to hidden content. Turn on this setting if you want to grant access to content, even if it's hidden from the navigation. You need to check it out carefully here i'm gonna turn it on yes grant and then you have another two options over here whether you want to make it available automatically for everyone or not i'll say yes install this app automatically for everyone even if they don't have access they can request access once they are going to install it now you can also mention the sports site or here i'm gonna write baconsultingpro.com which is my own site but you can write over here the name of the site that your organization has it and here it's saying that uh, values are not correct so probably this way it's gonna be correct now you have to click next over here you have to start adding content so i'll say add content i would like to add two reports over here both have their different or both reports have their own separate semantic model that's how i'm gonna include so let me include three over here now my reports have been included i can also move them up or down depends on my own requirement plus i can also add a different section or link over here for example i want to keep the sales report separate so i'll say hey this is going to be my sales section and rest is going to be in other so i'll say another section which I'm going to call it others. So within the same app, you are doing all these operations over here. So guys, if you are coming over here for the very first time and you don't know what is Power BI app, then this video also can be a refresher for you. However, I'll put the previous video link also in the description section. Don't forget to check that out. So right now there's nothing. So I'm going to move it over here. So let me move it from this to the sales section. And the rest of the reports you can again click over here move to others and hr dashboard also going to move to others now you can see that i have two sections again i can move up and down these sections and this is done if you further would like to add any links ppt or maybe some glossary other information you can still do that for example this section would be external links and if you would like to add any other link you have to simply type here name of the link i'll say bi consulting pro website here i can type it https www.biconsultingpro.com and you can decide whether you want to open in the content area current tab or a new tab i'll say content area then also you can select it which section you really want to push it so this is all about it and once again i'm gonna move it down so let me move it down because this is the way i really prefer it to be now we have done with the content we have done with the initial setup last part is the audience so here you have to create your own audience and in the audience part by default you can do it for entire organization or specific user i'm going to say it for the entire organization that's what is my preference but you have to also learn more about it. So please don't forget to click over here and let me know in the comment section if you have any question over it. I'm going to say, okay, only share with the connected consultingpro.com, but you can type any AD group over here. 
and that's this section is over here going to be and this is going to be my audience so if you can double click on this you can also say bcp and it's rename you can all also add more audience for example if i'm gonna add another audience i'm gonna say others and here i can hide my sales report so this sales section i'm hiding it over here this won't appear for this other's audience so it depends on that which you want to hide which you want to show this is an easy way to navigate this one and then i'm going to say hey publish my report or publish my power bi app not the report it would take some time but still it can do that so now you are going to come here now you can see that since we selected one option even it's hidden in the previous part we always marked one box as even if it's hidden it should appear or people can see that one users can see that so that's why you would see everything over here like in the all part there's a bcp where you are gonna see this report and there's your section where everything is appearing but in the other part says should not appear which is not over here and that's why you can see that and model is not loading please don't go into this one because i haven't checked those reports for a long time but sales one should appear over here it would take some time so please be patient which is over here you can also again do that and let's check the link as well whether it's appearing or not in the same area i really wanted to but sometimes links can be tricky they appear they don't appear but voila it's appearing perfectly fine over here so you can go for the trainings etc you can log in you can come and you can talk to us there are lots of videos as well for the pi consulting pro which we have published for you guys this was the way that where we have learned that how to combine multiple power bi reports into a single file or a single power bi app while keeping different or their separate semantic model which they have the measures calculations and other data over there not only that in this video you also learned how to create your very first power bi app what are the different permissions you are going to need it or you are going to share with the users initial setup content and the audiences what do you think about it do you like it if yes please don't forget to share this with your friends colleagues and even with those people who really would like to make their career as a data analyst and are keen to learn power bi and if you are also keen to learn power bi please do connect with us we help you to make your career in the data field what do you think about it Please do let me know in the comment section and I'm going to see you in the next video.